everybody and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today's video is a little different. I haven't done one of these in a very long time so I might be rusty as hell in this video but I'm gonna try and edit it as best as I can okay. So today's topic is a little different. You guys all know how I talk about shows and why they were canceled right? Well today I am talking about a show that was almost canceled but wasn't really so let's get started. So Back in 2018, the creators of South Park started a hashtag to try and get the show canceled, which was called hashtag cancel South Park, okay? Which obviously didn't work because it's still here to this day. Why? Okay, that's the real question. The show has had decent ratings the last couple of seasons, and it doesn't seem to end like Family Guy and The Simpsons. And, um, for kids, Spongebob definitely Spongebob. But in my opinion, South Park has stayed more fresh than other shows that have lasted longer. Yeah. Do you guys see my eye? Why does it look like that? It looks like I'm dying. But that's only when the world gets more chaotic and messed up. So that means South Park will be the same, but in a good way, in a good way. So the real question here, I'm going to start looking up stuff on my PC. That's why my face is bright, right? So, hashtag cancel South Park started in 2018. Now, I guess the creators wanted to cancel the show they, because they, they feel like maybe the show might get very similar to uh, The Simpsons and Family Guy and how they turned out with, like, you know, lack of creativity. But honestly, South Park is in this kind of age where if you make a show, really, where if you make an episode of this show, it will be so much fresher than maybe like the early seasons. And I, that's my opinion. If you guys don't feel the same way, then that is totally fine. But they want to cancel the show. And after this hashtag started, uh, a lot of news outlets were looking at it and they were saying, oh, is this like um, a marketing scheme? No, they really wanted to get the show canceled. It, it had nothing to do with marketing. This show, they wanted to cancel South Park. And recently, South Park, I don't know when the last season aired, but they had a season recently, but something recently came out on HBO Max. Now, HBO Max has the rights to South Park now, and Hulu used to. So, HBO Max now has the rights to every single season of South Park, but HBO Max and I think Comedy Central owns South Park still. But South Park recently just had a pandemic special, which was making fun of stuff that has happened this year so far. And um, the major topic was the, the cough cough. It was really good. And that's what I'm saying. When the world gets more chaotic and messed up, so doesn't South Park in a good way. And it's just... I don't understand why you would want to get your show canceled. Like, yes, I understand that, you know, your show is almost at 30 seasons, which is very fucking scary. But I know that your show is almost at 30 seasons, but there is a way to keep your show fresh, and I feel like that is what they're doing. The Simpsons and Family Guy and SpongeBob. SpongeBob has kind of been improving a little bit. If you guys haven't seen the new episodes of SpongeBob, you guys should go check them out. But Family Guy and The Simpsons have not stayed fresh in a very long time. The last good episode of The Family Guy... I don't know why I said that. I think I was getting ready to say The Simpsons. But the last good episode, in my opinion, of Family Guy was definitely the episode where they made fun of Trump. That was amazing. They are bringing real world topics into shows and I feel like that is going to be the most best way to keep a show fresh if, is if you're talking about the real life world events that are going on right now. And that is what South Park is doing and I'm very happy for them. So I look, I'm looking at an article right now that came out last year in December, I think, yeah, yeah, December 9th of last year. Um, they said that... In a statement, the creator said, apparently our efforts to get our own show canceled have fallen short. Luckily, we love Comedy Central and our staff, so we are looking forward to new cancellation opportunities in the next few years. Comedy Central's president, Kent Alterman, kept their pair sweet by calling South Park the greatest comedy in the history of television, unmatched in its satirical strength and cultural relevancy. Now, they're not wrong. They are not wrong whatsoever. South Park is so fucking good, and that is so amazing of how you can keep a show that fresh over so many years. Now, I know a couple seasons ago, the show did kind of decline in ratings because they kind of want to do like a serialized season where they kept everything in place and they wanted people to, oh, come back next season and you'll see more. They tried something new, didn't really work out too well, and that's why a lot of people really like the pandemic special because South Park is fucking back, baby, okay? South Park is fucking back. Now, I don't know what else to say. The only thing that I have to say is if you're going to cancel South Park, please just make a final episode that will just make the show look a lot better. Um, not like 
create no, like creativity better maybe have the kids grow up or something like that and i feel like the movie south park bigger longer and uncut i'm gonna get censored for everything i say in this video but south park bigger longer and uncut the movie of south park i think it aired three seasons and it, it, okay the south park had three seasons and then the movie i'm pretty sure yeah and I, f I feel like that could have been a finale of the show. The movie was so good in my opinion. I know I keep saying my opinion because this is really my opinion, guys. This is my channel and it's my opinion. So follow me on Twitter if you guys have different opinions or in the comments, do whatever. But I feel like South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut really could have been the finale of the show because it was just so perfectly planned out. And I feel like if they ended it there, maybe they didn't have to come back. Maybe they didn't. But Comedy Central, whoever owned it back in the day, were like, okay, no, this movie did really good in the theaters. Let's keep this shit going. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, a little bit of other things I would say is, I'm not going to say anything else because I feel like I'll just say the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So if you guys enjoy this video, though, make sure to smack the like button and make sure to go check out my other episodes of why it was canceled. And make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you guys want to be notified. I... Every time I upload a brand new video. I'm, I'm stuttering a lot because like I'm trying to go really super fast. Um, and I just want to say thank you guys for watching to, uh, to the end. And make sure to have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.